A lot of people out of work find themselves at the mercy of the dial check. But that wasn't going to happen to me and my mate Nico. As Australians, you wouldn't reckon we'd abuse our country, a place the rest of the world wants to see. They're all coming here to Alice for a look. It used to be a sleepy, dusty town to live in. Still is for some. Now Alice Springs is a boom town, the tourist capital of the outback. It's no longer just a gathering place where people talk of the culture, history and ancient legends that abound. Now it's shopping centres and resorts and takeaway food and the tourist dollar. But once you talk about leaving town to see a bit more, there's a problem. It's of such proportions that two Australians thought it was time something was done. Ready, sir? Yes, sir. All aboard. We're off, We're off. This is the outback Nick Soames and Phil Daniel want the world to see. You might say such an image of our country is a pipe dream, but in the traditional Aussie spirit of adventure, they set off on a 1400 kilometre trek to prove it doesn't have to be. This is the reality, waste in a beautiful wasteland. You're a tourist travelling along the Stuart Highway from Alice Springs in the Northern Territory to Port Augusta in South Australia, on a road proudly opened less than a year ago. This is what you see, an endless stream of bottles, cans and roadside rubbish. Not the sort of stuff scrapbooks are made of, and not what these two unemployed men from Anglesey in Victoria want you to remember. Phil Daniel and Nick Soames often dreamt about seeing the outback and finding out what it had to offer. Collecting the rubbish was their ticket to ride. Do you want to take the bike off there? Yeah, first? I'll get it off there. 25 yeah. each on the first day. Eh? Well, we'll try it out. If yeah, it's too yeah, much, we'll yeah. cut it back. But uh, it's not too hot at the moment, so it mightn't be too bad. It's been cold. And the first stop looks like Earl Dunder. Looks like there's a, there's a roadhouse there, which is 200. So be four days away? Yeah, about four days. And see how we're going there. If we've got a bit of time, we'll, we'll go and have a look at the rock. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've never been there. I'm hanging out to see it, actually. Yeah. I must. It was their small way of helping to clean the place up and escaping the doll syndrome. And using this 1950 model Dodge Fargo truck was a slow but surprisingly reliable way to help get there. The pair found the old girl in a state of disrepair in a farm shed. They patched, worked and painted her to form a glory. Then loaded Fabulago, as she was soon dubbed, with enough food, fuel and equipment for two months.